New at 6, all week long, we've shown you how school districts are preparing for the new year. Today, we're focused on the one thing every parent fears the most, a school shooting. Way 31's Alyssa Martin shows you what two local school districts are doing to keep your children safe. I'm very concerned. Uh, that's why my pastor tells us to pray before we send them off to school. Like many, Geraldine Moore has school safety on her mind as she gets ready to send her kids off to school soon. I thank God that, you know, it haven't happened in, in the area that I'm in. As mass school shootings piled up last school year, Madison City School leaders started to reevaluate how they keep students safe. The number one best safeguard is is to tell it if you see something to, to let us know when Madison City students return to class on August 7th they will notice two new additions to their hallways so every school is covered with a mental health counselor and we feel like that's going to be a, a great service to our kids we have an SRO at every school now. The district aimed to raise about $750,000 to pay for extra school resource officers and additional counselors. People sent in about $20,000 worth of donations. Now discretionary funds are paying for the rest of the bill. That money is typically used for extra teachers and classes. School safety is, is, uh, is an unfunded mandate. Madison City School Superintendent Robbie Parker is also in the process of hiring a safety and security coordinator to his staff. So we can have somebody that focuses on safety and security all the time. While Madison City Schools are working to up their security staff and counselors, Madison County Schools are working to make sure their buildings are safeguarded against any threats. When you walk to the front of any school in Madison County, one of the first new things you'll notice is this. You press the button, look into the camera, Owens Crossroads School, can I help you? Then someone inside the school will make sure you're on campus for the right reasons. This is done in hopes of preventing anyone from entering the school building when they shouldn't. We want our, those, those visitors to be able to come in the school, but not necessarily to have access to students. The Madison County School Board set aside $750,000 for security projects like securing entrances and giving special access to employees only. For elementary schools, we really want one point entry and access for elementary and middle schools. For our high schools, we're looking at a two point. But they're not stopping there. Up next for Madison County Schools, a California based group, School Safety Operations, will visit all campuses to see what the district is doing well and where improvements need to be made. We may very well need to invest more into safety and, uh, and maybe they can find some things that we not haven't necessarily looked at. Both Madison County and Madison City say they're ready for kids to have a safe school year. Reporting in Madison County, Alyssa Martin, Way 31 News. And Way 31 also reached out to other schools in the area to learn how they make sure they're prepared for the worst case scenario. One way Huntsville City Schools tells us they stay prepared is by holding emergency training drills like the one you're seeing in this video right now. They also work with Huntsville Police to make sure they're prepared to respond to any type of emergency situation. If anything, I could say we're hyper focused and hyper sensitive to the fact it could happen. Uh, you know, when, since we have that sensitivity, we're going to do this training over and over and over. A spokesman for Huntsville City Schools says recently they've expanded security cameras throughout the campuses. They're also working to hire more school resource officers who work directly with the district's own security staff. Some big changes are coming to school bus routes in Colbert County. Way 31 learned the school system combined six bus routes that'll save nearly $100,000. But it'll cost students another 10 minutes on the bus. Some students may be on different buses than last year. The routes had to be adjusted after five bus drivers retired and three resigned. Students in the DeKalb County School District go back to school Tuesday. And Fort Payne City students head back to class on Wednesday. Next Thursday, August 9th, Jackson County and Scottsboro City Schools will be back in session. For a full list of when each school starts, just go to our website, waytv.com.